this episode on Wisdom Mathematics Tutorial on Coordinate Geometry. We have a question which says, what is the perpendicular distance of a point 2, 3 from the line 2x minus 4y plus 3 equal to 0? We are trying to find the perpendicular distance of this point from this line. So we have two parameters here. One is the point, two is the line. This particular point, which is 2, comma 3, is expressed as x, comma y. That is the point we have here, this 2, comma 3, means that the value of x is 2 and the value of y is 3. So s is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. That is for the point. Now, the line is now 2x minus 4y plus 3 equal to 0. So, this is the equation of a line Why this one is a point. In coordinate geometry, we have a formula for finding perpendicular distance of a point from a line. You can say perpendicular distance perpendicular distance of a point x comma y from a line is d small small letter d which we have as d equal to ax plus by plus c all over square root of a squared plus b squared. So this question is very simple. This is a formula for finding perpendicular distance of this point x comma y from this line. Then, since we have this as a formula, the only thing we need for us to solve this question is to get the values of a, b, x, and y. And how we get it is very simple. From the point, we're going to get the value of x and y. Since we have that our point is 2, comma, 3, comma, we have that s is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. This is our values of x and y. Then, the values of a B and C is given as this. Since our line is 2x minus 4y plus C equal to 0, these two here stands for A. That is the coefficient of x here is A. Coefficient of y is B. And this constant here is C. So A is now equal to 2, B is now equal to minus 4, and C is now equal to 3. So since we have our values of X, Y, A, B, and C, we can easily get the perpendicular distance by using this formula. And when we do that, we are going to add that D is equal to 2, which is A, bracket, 2, which is X, plus b is minus 4 times y which is 3 then plus c which is 3 all over square root of a which is 2 so we have as a squared so we have 2 squared here plus b which is minus 4 we have it as minus 4 squared so for us to get our d we just have to compute what we have in the formula and since we have this expression we're going to have that d is equal to 2 into 2 is 4 plus times minus is minus 4 times 3 is 12 plus 3 all over square root of 
2 squared is 4 plus minus 4 squared is 16. Here we have 4 minus 12, which is minus 8, plus 3, which is minus 5, all over square root of 20. Then, by sorts, we have the square root of 20 is square root of 4 times 5, which is also going to give us 5 over square root of 4 by square root of 5 and this will give us that d is equal to minus 5 over 2 root 5 this is a compound sum so we have to rationalize to get, to get our final answer because this denominator is a sum and in mathematics sum is not supposed to be a denominator so we have to rationalize so this is going to give us we have root 5 here and root 5 that's why using root 5 to rationalize so this is going to give us minus 5 times root 5 to give us minus 5 root 5 all over coefficient of root 5 here is 2 we bring it out coefficient of root 5 here is 1 2 times 1 then times root 5 times root 5 is 5 so d is now going to be minus 5 root 5 all over 2 times 5 which is 10 then 5 into 5 is going to give us 1 so we have minus root 5 5 into 10 is going to give us 2 so the perpendicular distance between the point 2 comma 3 and the line 2x minus 4y plus 3 equal to 0 is minus root 5 all over 2 see you in our next class